Well, it's as though the Democrats are making a curse out of courage and rewarding compromise. Well, and they're making this argument that, oh, it's now or never, and this is the end of the Democratic Party. If we don't pass this, where? Where, where, where is that written? That you can't go in and try and do a better job. If you write a crappy bill, you can't say my presidency is on the line if you don't pass it. You can't put a gun to your own head and say, ha, huh, you got to do this or I'll pull the trigger. I mean, you wrote the bill. It's bad. People don't like it. They don't want to sacrifice their political careers. They made promises, promises that the entire Democratic Party and most of the Republicans want. You go into those swing districts that we're supposed to care so much about, you know, the reason we gave up choice because we need Democrats in Republican districts. We're getting ready to throw them to the dogs and completely decimate the Democratic Party by passing this bill. It doesn't make any sense. And we're only doing it because this is the bill that the White House wrote. These are the deals that they cut with the hospitals, with the device makers, with the pharmaceutical companies. And they're going to jam it through no matter what and no matter what the cost to everybody else. It is paths of glory, and they are the generals firing on the people in the trenches. So when Anthony Weiner accuses the Republicans of being a wholly owned subsidiary of the insurance industry, you have to add to that the Democrats are a partially owned subsidiary and they're going to basically sell themselves out to these same interests. Well, Anthony Weiner hasn't said anything about the Republicans. It isn't true of himself if he votes for this bill. But the real crisis is choice. If, you, if, if, if your listeners out there have a, have a representative who claims to be pro-choice, have them call and ask them. How can you possibly vote for this bill? How are we doing this on the backs of a woman's right to choose? Because that's what this bill is. Well, I thank you very much for joining us here today in Los Angeles, Jane Hampshire. And uh, this is a, a, it's a sad, uh, I mean, it's awful what you're telling us. And it's awful because it's true. And I guess it makes no, the notion of I don't belong to an organized party, I'm a Democrat. That's too nice. <laughs> I don't think it's over, though, Ian. I don't yeah. think they can pass this. I, I don't think they think that even that they can pass this bill. They're trying to set up the, 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 the culture of inevitability. And it's true that they are a machine, but they are having to ask people to lose their seats to cast this vote. So if people stand up and they say, we support you, Dennis, or you call your representative and you say, look, man, I know you don't want to do this because nobody in the entire party does in the House. Nobody wants to be cannon fodder for this bill. So I support you. Please do not do this. They can't, they can't do anything against that. Hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks a lot, Ian. Bye-bye.